Hi, this is Rocky coming to you live from the OG Rider Studio in Milan, Michigan. We just finished our international tour. We're talking with some of classic car owners about their restoration and plans for the future. We'd like to give thanks to our sponsors, PageBuzz.com, Website Construction. Take a look at our You want to tell us about this? Well, it's a 1965 Dodge Cornette, altered wheelbase. It's a replica. Uh, the rear wheel's been moved 15 inches forward. The front wheel's 10 inches. It has a straight axle, and the motor's moved back 8 inches like early funny car. Wow. All steel fendered, steel bumper, glass car, windows roll up and down, doors lock, and I drive it on the street. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen this car on Michigan Avenue at the cruise pulling the wheels. Yes, it does. <laughs> but that's a rumor. <laughs> Usually well, at the drag strip. Okay, okay, but she, she's beautiful. She's yep. a beautiful car, and it's great to see you driving it. Yep. You know, most of us have these cars, and they, they garage kept, and they take the friends out to look at it. What sense does that make? Right, and this is mechanical injection. It is not really? electronic. Wow. Runs low 11, stands it on the back bumper. Just... Now, running that, uh, what's the temperature like? Around 200 because I got a 192 thermostat in there. Uh -huh. Just because you don't have a lot of time staging the car, so I try to get some heat up into the motor. Okay. Okay. Uh, other than that, I'd probably have a 160 in there if I was driving it more on the street. What about cruising? Cruising it doesn't overheat. It's fine. I got a big radiator and dual fans and an electric water pump to help cool it. So you can run it after the car shut off to help cool it down. Even if you do have overheat problems, you can still cool it down without damaging anything. But well, that's great. That's great. Well, it's good to see you out here. Thank you. Let's keep them rolling. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Thank you.